Hey folks, what we're going to do tonight is image an image that I've never done before. I've only got a couple of hours on it though because of the uh, the time of night. Um, we do have clear skies, which is great, but um, I have work tomorrow, so I can't be up all night doing this. So we're going to do NGC seven three three one and hopefully include the deer lick group as well. I'll just show you where that is on the uh, on the Stellarium here. So it is round about southeast at the moment. We should be able to get onto it. Let me just zoom in here. A closer look. That's what we're going after, but I also want to try and get this group of galaxies here in the image as well. So the camera that I'll be using will be this DSLR, which has on the front, has a coma corrector on the front here. I don't know if you can see that. And inside, I'll show you inside. There is a light pollution filter, clip-in light pollution filter. And the coma corrector looks like that. What this does, this the coma corrector is used to stop the stars at the edge of the image looking oval. So what I'll do is I'll go outside, put this onto the telescope and start setting up. So I'm just going to pause this, uh, well not pause this, but I'll uh, stop talking and uh, turn off the camera while I go and do that. So what we will do now is we'll load up, we can shut this down, we don't need this, but we'll load up um, our tools that we're going to use. First one we'll load up will be PHD, I'm going to use this just to connect to the mount. Okay, it's the EQ mod there has shown up, that's shown up as part. And next piece of software will be cart to seal. Move that out of the way. Second. Uh, of course, we have to connect telescope as well for this. What we'll do, if you look here on here, it says track rate, not tracking. So we need to set that to be tracking at side drill rate. One park it and then track, and you'll see this has now gone green. Don't need that anymore on the screen. And like that, like that. Next piece of software is astrophotography tool. So what we'll do is connect our telescope. Don't need to connect focus, we'll use a different piece of software for focusing. this and what we'll do first is we'll try and find ngc 7331 that's the one we want to image start off the image anyway and so we go to gear objects now we'll find ngc 7331 which will hopefully be listed here let's have a look There it is. We we'll double click on that. Let me just bring this um, EQ mod back into screen. Do that. And then we click the go to button. You'll see these numbers here are now changing. What's happening outside is the telescope is actually moving to where it thinks NGC 7331 is, but it won't be there. We're going to have to plate solve everything to get it working. 
and get the telescope to the correct part of the sky, which is fairly straightforward. That's now hopefully found what it thinks is NGC 7331. And the first thing we do is we'll shoot a 10 second image of the sky like that. And let's see what, uh, see what shows up. Right, there's a 10 second image of the sky now. It's probable, and in fact, highly, highly likely that that isn't what we want to look at, although there is a kind of a smudge just there, so that might be the spot. But what we need to do is we need to plate solve the image. We go back to gear, we click on point craft, and then we click blind. And what this is going to do now is it's going to attempt to figure out where the telescope is looking in the, at the sky. It's called plate solving and can take sort of 20, 25 seconds. Image solved. There we go. So that's solved this image. Now what we do is we, collect, we click show and sync. Now if we take a look at carte du seal, you'll see where we're actually looking at. Is where we're actually looking at here. Yeah. And if I do a search for NGC 7331, right, see how far, we're well, that far out, but that's not too bad actually. So now what we do is we click on objects down here in the go to plus plus section. Again, finding, find NGC 7331 there, and we click go to plus plus. What this will do now is it will move and resolve the image about five times to try and get that particular Exposure galaxy started. in the center of the image. Exposure finished. It just took one picture, now it's solving. Go to plus plus finished. And it's got it within five pixels. So if we now go back to Cart Do Seal, you'll see where it's actually imaging it at. Now we want to get the Deerlick group in as well, which I believe will be this group here. We're going to have to fiddle about a little bit. But before we do that, what we need to do, now we've plate solved the setup, what we need to do is we need to focus the camera. And for that, I need to find a fairly bright star. Which we'll use card to seal for. Just have a look around here so we can find what I think is going to be a bright star. How far away from Sadie? Quite away. Let's try. Let's try that star there. See how that works. Say that shit. <laughs> I don't know. It may, we may not be able to see it properly, but. We'll slew over to that star. Now you'll see, as I click the slew button, you'll see the little square moving over to it. We should be fairly close to where it is. Let's have a look. And we'll take an image with APT and see what we can see now. Exposure started. And these are only short images, so you don't get any star trails when you're doing this. Hopefully, we'll see a fairly bright star near the center of the image. Exposure finished. Yeah, there we go. There he is. Right, so what I will do now is I'm going to plate solve again and do a blind solve on that image there. Are we still solving? Come on. Go faster than this. Image solved. There we go. Right, so. Now what I'll do. Let's go. Find that star in our list. There we go. Click go to plus plus. And hopefully, this, what this will do is it'll put that star there in, a, in the center of our image so, so we started. can uh, focus properly. 
it may well be focused okay but probably not spot on exposure finished there we go so now it's sort of getting to the center of the image it's gonna it's gonna keep plate solving it will plate solve now and tell us how close we are but it's probably going to stop there oh it's within 38 pixels so it's going to want to go again because it's not close enough for the software exposure started so it's taken another image and now it will resolve that it's moved it slightly it's taken another image and there we go is it finished targets in 29 pixels well, it's close enough. exposure started it's going to keep going <laughs> i could stop it but Hey, let's see how close it goes. Let's see how close it will get it. Exposure finished. That's pretty close to the middle, isn't it? Of the screen. Go to plus plus. There you finished. go. See, it says target is in nine pixels down here. And it won't get any closer than that. So what we do now, we just shut down this point craft box for now. Um, I'm going to look at the image a bit closer. You can see these donuts, see? I'm not actually focused by that. We have a tool here called um, a magnifier. I can put that over there and we can look at it a bit. Yeah, a bit more. No, it's not, not focused. So what we do is I'll run outside and put this thing on the telescope this is a batonoff mask and what this will do is it will put crosses on the uh, on the image and allow us to get a proper focus so i'll be back in a couple of minutes <laughs> okay right uh, the the mask is now on the image so what we'll do is let's have a look at live view just out of interest very very tiny there uh, let's see if we can zoom in a little um, uh, we'll go to um, EQ mod here, and we can actually move the telescope. I need to get that uh, that star. And we're moving that way. We need to move it. There we go. It's a bit fast. <laughs> Uh, zoom in again. Uh, it's not in focus, is it? Nowhere near. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll take a, let's just take a 20 second image of that star. Exposure started. Exposure finished. Right, there we go. Right, can you see the, the crosses that have turned up in the actual image? Now that tells me that we're a little bit out of focus. See if I can make it any bigger. That's really weird the way that um not actually showing up in the the preview window here. Ah, there we go. Okay, got it. Right now, can you see how this center line here is further over this way? Than this way that so when this is in focus this center line will perfectly bisect this cross here so i load up some software that i've got which is focusing software now sometimes this can be uh, a bit of a game this is the focusing software this connects to a focuser out on the telescope and what we'll do 
is I'm just going to focus it out. I'm not sure which way to go at this at the, at the moment. So we're just going to click focus out and then take another image and see where that line is lying. So I'm going to hold the focus out button down for a couple of seconds like that. And what that should have done is it should have changed the focus position of the camera on the telescope. And then we'll take another image. I can probably do 10, we can probably drop this down to 10 seconds now. Exposure started. But let's see if this line, which line is, which way this Exposure line moves. Finished. Uh, it's moved the correct way. Fantastic. So what I'll put on now is a tool within APT called um, Button of Aid, which basically we just sit on top of the image there, click the recap button, give it a little nudge, and that will tell us how far out we are. And the way we do it is we try to get this red circle over this turquoise colored circle. And we moved out, didn't we? So we need to move out just a little click. Like that. And then we'll take another image. Exposure started. Let's see if this red circle has moved. This is uh, the initial setups for imaging. You've got to focus. Exposure finished. <clears throat> there we go. See the, the red circle is pretty much on top. In fact, if I move the... The, the tool around it does actually say it's, it's close enough. You can, um, I found that you can fiddle about this for fiddle about with this for about thirty minutes, and you still don't get it much closer. But this is uh, this is pretty good. So we can minimise that. Shut down the baton off aid. It's now going to say, "Don't forget to remove the baton off mask." And yes, I have done a whole night's imaging with the mask <laughs> on, and that was quite annoying because everything had a cross through it. And that was a wasted night. So you can see there that pretty much this line is perfectly bisecting, bisecting the two crosses, which means the telescope is, is now focused. So now I've got to go outside again, take off the batten off mask, come back in and continue with our setup. So back in a second. Okay, so the mask is now off the telescope and we can now Slew back over to NGC 7331. Just drop this back to normal size. And um, continue with what we have to do. Remember, we, we're trying to get uh, five galaxies in one image. So now we have to frame our image. So we've just focused the image. Now we need to frame the image. So click on objects. Deep sky in the list find 7331 just there okay and click go to now if we look at carte du seal you'll see that this is now the, the telescope here. this is moving to spot here and what we'll do again of course is we'll shoot an image exposure started exposure finished it looks like it's there. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's uh, it's in the middle there. I can see a smudge. But what we'll do is we'll just plate solve this. Just to make sure. So again, blind solve. I like blind solve because you don't actually have to do anything. You just snap an image and it will figure it out and put in all the information itself. There are other ways of doing it with auto and et cetera, et cetera, but I like doing it. With the blind solve. Let's see what it finds. Image solved. Right, so that's now solved. Now again, as we did before, objects down here in the go to plus plus part, we click on the objects button again. Find seven three three one. Now double click that. Click on go to plus plus. And it's going to throw up this box complaining. I click no on that. And now it's going to move the telescope slightly. Not very much, but just slightly. Exposure started. 
And what I will do once this is plate solved, I'll then set up guiding and we'll do one three minute image um, because I'm finished. trying to find out the, the right spot to put the telescope. Is it, I don't want to have that uh, 7331 in the center. I want it off to the side slightly. But just going to have to we're going to do it again. Exposure yep, there started. we go. It's off again. We're within 60 pixels, which, you know, it's, it's not the middle, is it? We want to like to get it down to around five. Go to plus plus there we go. Finished. We got it down to within three pixels. OK, so I'm just going to leave that box there for a second. And then we'll go to our guiding software. I should show you. Um, um, um. That guiding software, I'll move that down there. And it's already connected to the guide camera. So I click this button here, begin looping. And there's some stars. And I click on tools, auto select star. Now it's chosen this star to guide from. And then you just click that button there, begin guiding. That's now guiding the telescope and keeping it uh, in the same position in relation to, you know, the Earth's rotation. You can see here, it's, uh, this is where you get all the corrections. So we'll move him out of the way. We don't need that there anymore. And what I should do now is I'll take one three minute image. Because I want to see where we are. Exposure started. So we'll take the three minute image and I'll come back when that's um, when that's when that's finished. Okay, so we finished. Exposure 180 finished. seconds. Let me just stop that. Dithering started. Right. Now we need to find, try and figure out where we are. Here. Maybe. I'm not sure. What I'm going to do is I'm going to feed this image, this is the little trick I use when I try and line up on images. Because I'm not sure if that's the extra um, four galaxies that we need. If so, I've got them and I can just plate solve to this point here and it'll move everything over and it'll look okay. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Adobe Bridge. Okay. And what this will do, we'll find tonight's imaging, which will be dated 19th. The 19th shout, there it is. I don't need any of these. This is just, this is just us fiddling about, so we're going to delete these. Right, there's our image. I'm, I'm going to double click that. And what that'll do is it'll open it in Photoshop. That caused the stream to go a bit laggy. Not sure. Moment. Because <clears throat> Photoshop's a bit, a bit memory hungry. I don't tend to use it, but I use it to do this because it's, uh, it's like a quick and dirty way of. Um, Just figuring out what we're looking at. So there's the image in Photoshop. I'm just going to save that in this folder. I'm going to just going to save it as one.jpg. All right. And then what we'll do is we we'll go to a website called astronomy.net. And what we'll do is we'll upload that image. Uh, 19. 1.jpg we're going to upload that image to astronomy.net and see if it can plate solve it 
and tell us what we're actually looking at what those other uh what look like galaxies are on the screen there just need to make sure that's the correct spot if so we're good if not then we'll have to mess about it right now it's gone to astronomy.net and it's going to in time it will plate solve the image doesn't normally take very long which is pretty cool very cool website this here if you ever get a space image and you're not sure what you're looking at put it to turn it into a jpeg upload it to here that's nova.astronomy.net and it will tell you what you're looking at on the screen it's quite cool if that over there you know just leave it there we'll leave it there and let that uh, let that run see what it makes of it but actually it does look like this is those four little galaxies really hope that's it because it'll make my life a hell of a lot easier <laughs> and what it'll do the the actual what we're looking at we look, we know that's NGC 7331 in the center, but we're also looking to get Stevens or Stefan's quintet in there. Um, now, it's not going to look anything like this because this is from Hubble. And of course, I'm not looking through the Hubble, but I'm looking through a telescope at the back of my house. Um, but we need to make sure that these are in the image as well. They will, of course, be a lot smaller and not as detailed as that. Um, but I think it's them there. So it's actually solved that image. Let's have a look. So it's you can see look on astronomy.net it says success. So we go to results page. And there we go. It's actually yes, I was right. It is the St Stefan's quintet. I'm saying that right. And then this is the image that we just uh, solved. You can see how many galaxies there are here. There's quite a few of them in here. So what I shall do I want to try and get all of these in. There's one at the top. I was originally going to move the scope to there, but if I move the scope to that spot there, then obviously I'm going to lose that NGC 7343. So if we move across to about there, that will move this one across here, this one across, and this one across. We may even find something else in there as well. So, right, I'm just going to move it across so that it's pointing at that location there. How do we do that? Again, using APT. This is a really cool part of APT. What I can do, remember I said I'm gonna move it to about there. What I can do is I can do click on the aim button and just click just there. And then click go to plus plus. Click no again. And what that will do is it will move the telescope here and then resolve the image it's to make sure we're actually pointing at that spot. This is one of the really cool things with uh, with APT and I absolutely love it. Because it makes life so easy. Exposure finished. Okay, you can see now, look, I don't know if you can see, it's just there, there's a smudge just there. We've actually moved across, and all those galaxies should now be there. And oh, it wants to move a little bit more. It wasn't far enough. Exposure started. Exposure finished. Uh, it took another image, and it's solving that again. Hopefully, we'll be, we'll be we there. Yeah. Hopefully, we will be be within three or four pixels. Got tongue tied Go there. Plus, plus, oh, we're within six pixels. That's pretty good. I like that. Okay. All good. Right, so we can now shut down point craft because the telescope is actually pointing where we want. Okay. Right thing to do, do we shut down point craft now? Are we done with it? Yes, we are. All right. And then we'll go back to our guiding software, which will be will have complained like crazy because we moved the telescope while it was guiding and it hates that. So I need to set my guiding up again doesn't like it when you when you mess with it that way there. 
I'm going to stop. I think actually we've got to restart relooping because we're now pointing at a different part of the sky. There we go. Uh, let's just turn down the brightness. It doesn't make any difference to what's going on, but it looks better on my screen. And tools, auto select star. Now it's selected that one. And we kick off the guiding again. Now, because we're doing three minute images, we have to use guiding. If we don't use guiding, then you'll end up with star trails. Ah, one thing I didn't do. Hold on, let's just uh, bring back point craft. And I wanted to store that location for future use. I forgot to do it. So I'm just going to take an image. Well, I'm going to blind solve that, that location of our last image. Image solved. Right, okay, it solved it that time. Um, so it solved it to this location here in the sky. What I'll do is I'll click on that button there, solved. All right, and then we click store. And then custom. I'm going to add a custom object. So I'm going to type ng7331 and sq, Stefan's Quintet. Uh, we'll call it, what should we call it? A galaxy chain. There we go. And that's all we need to do. And what um, we do now is just click save. And that will add this to our list for another night's imaging because I'll be doing more than one night on this. Click OK. Shut down point craft. Go to camera. Check guiding. Guiding's rubbish. <laughs> But we'll battle on with it as it is. And um, click start. What this is going to do is it's given me the name here, NGC7331 and SQ. Exposure what this is started. going to do now, it's going to run 40 180 second exposures. And then what we'll do is we'll probably do another night or maybe another night after, depending on how these look. This may look rubbish because the, the sky is not that good out there, which is why, why the guiding's not good at all. But we'll, we'll run through this and, you know, see how we go. So I'm going to leave this running um, and uh, come back on periodically to check things. Right, I just want to jump in here quick, just show you something. Uh, this is something that I use just to check pictures. Normally I use it at the end of the imaging session or before I do the, the actual processing. But I use a piece of software called Exif Pro, which is custom um, software for the Canon cameras. And using this, I can look, I mean, I could use Adobe Bridge, but with this I can get in a lot closer. I can zoom in a bit further. And I use this just to have a look at the image as they're going, just to see what's going on with them. Um, and I can get in really tight. I just want to check the actual stars. See all these, this is, this is hot pixels. These get taken out by the processing. Um, but I'm just looking at the stars just to make sure, because the guiding is pretty rubbish at the moment. But the stars look okay. Um, you can see here, this is the galaxy. This is NGC 7331. This is on the raw light frame. And if we come down here, we should find that. Uh, zoom out. Let's see what's going on. Yeah. Down here, these smudges here. I think are Stefan's quintet. But these will all look, look better once we've um, we processed the whole set. Because I'm only I'm not gonna do just one night, I'm gonna do more than one. And then put all these together. But the, the nice thing with this software is sometimes you get satellite trails and um, planes and all sorts of things flying through your your image. So using this and just zooming in a little bit, I can actually use my Exposure mouse wheel started. to go through. Now, you see there? 
That's a satellite trail going through the image. Now that's quite dim, so the chances are that when I process this in PixInsight, it will remove that line. So I don't need to dump that this like this subframe. Dumping subframes is not good. So yeah, uh, see how the image is moving slightly. Not this one. One we zoomed out. We we messed with the zoom on it. Remember. Zoom out. Yeah, this first one, this was the original one that we did. Where the galaxy was actually centered. But if you look at these ones here, I don't know, but let me just zoom in a little bit. Um, as I go through these, can you see how the image is moving? This is the dithering. This is caused by the dithering process that runs between images. And this is how we get rid of noise. And hopefully eliminate the need to do uh, dark frames. It works quite well for me. So, yeah, we'll let this carry on uh, imaging. So, at this point here, during the recording during the night, I decided to cut the amount of frames to 30 frames because the clouds were rolling in and it uh, was getting quite late. So, uh, from here on, we cut the, the frames we took at 30 and I move on and do the flats. Right, this is nearly done, the 30th image. So once that's done, I'll disappear outside. I'll put that uh, panel on the, on, the, on the scope and do my flats. Exposure finished. Right, there we go. That's finished. So I'm going to stop that process. And I'll be back shortly once i've got once i'm set up for the flats i'll be right back be about three or four minutes i think however before i do that i'm going to park everything up so i'm going to shut down the guiding which is absolutely diabolical so the guiding's off um, um, um Shut down cart to seal that anymore connected. Didn't actually need it connected anyway. And then uh, using the EQ mod, I'm going to park the telescope. There we go, let's park. Right, now I can shut down all the applications. Guide connection lost. Right, and let's go. Disconnect. Right, I'll be back. I'm just going to go and put the roof over and get, get the light panel on. All right, okay, now we'll do the flat. Before I do the flat. We get a bit organ yeah what I'm gonna do is take all of those images apart from that that folder I'm gonna put them in my light folder that's that didn't oh I don't want that don't want that Right, so that's all tonight's images are now in there in that light folder. Now what I'll do is I'll take the flats and I'll talk about that QHY thing. Um, so the flats, I will choose that one there. I've already set that up, set up for ages. And that will just now take 
images. We are flat, and that will be very fast. You can hear how quick it is. Exposure started. Exposure finished. We're gonna kill that. That's the flats being taken with the flat with the light panel. So how are we doing? You're photographing thirty-eight done. <clears throat> oh, I'm gonna be a mess in a mess tomorrow. Look, I'll be like a bear with a sore head in the morning. <laughs> Let's shut that down. Right, I'm wondering where it put all those flats. Because <laughs> I don't see any there. Wonder if it put them in the next night. Hang on, have a look. Did it create another folder? Nineteen. Yes, it created another folder called the 19th, but I renamed that. There's it there. There's all my flat. That. But I'm hoping that there is um there's my flat that i just took and you can see how easy that was they just they just done and now i can pack up if i want to anyway um i am going to have to turn off the stream and get off the bed because it's 20 to 2. um i need to uh get some sleep in guys so I really appreciate you coming and uh, listening to me drawl on about this stuff that I love. But unfortunately, it's late and I need to get off. But feel free to come back uh, anytime and uh, have a look, see what we're doing. So, uh, appreciate you all coming and um, I'll see you soon. But I've got to shut down now and. Uh, get off uh cheers for now i'll see you next time